Today we're going to make a classic highball, the horse's neck. For this drink, you're going to need a Collins glass, a measuring cup, a bar spoon, and a vegetable peeler. This drink uses brandy, aromatic bitters, a whole lemon peel, and ginger beer. Or if you want to be more accurate, ginger ale. Despite the fact that Ian Fleming described a brandy and ginger ale as the drunkard's drink, he seemed to have a fondness for it in the later books. Bond drank brandy and ginger ales in two books, On Her Majesty's Secret Service and You Only Live Twice. And in Octopussy, a sickly Bond villain named Major Smythe was in the process of drinking himself to death by swilling double brandy and ginger ales and chasing them with fistfuls of prescription pills when Bond met up with him. Brandy and ginger ale come together in a great cocktail called the Horse's Neck. It was formerly a temperance drink that dates back to the 1800s. The temperance version, of course, didn't have alcohol. But as a cocktail, it's classically made with brandy. However, some modern recipes make it with whiskey. The drink is typically made with ginger ale, and Bond makes his with ginger ale. But since I keep ginger beer on hand, and happen to like it better, I like making it with ginger beer. As with most highballs, the mixer, in this case the ginger beer, is such a big part of the drink that you're going to want to use a quality brand like Fentiman's or Fever Tree, or some other craft brand that puts quality ahead of quantity. You're going to want to taste the ginger, not just the high fructose lab syrup. Although this version is not strictly what Bond drank, the horse's neck is a great highball. It's not the same as a rye buck or a death in the Gulf Stream, but it's in the same neighborhood and pays the same HOA fees. If you ditch the lemon peel and the bitters, you'll have Bond's drink. That's easier to make, but this is better to drink. We're going to build this one in the glass, and we'll start by adding the ice. Next, we're going to peel the whole lemon, work it into the glass, and hang it over the rim. That's the neck. Next, measure two ounces of brandy, add that to the glass, hit it with two or three dashes of aromatic bitters, Pop open your ginger beer and pour it in your glass. You're aiming for about five or six ounces, and as with most highballs, there's no need to measure it. It's just an approximation, and you want to keep as much carbonation in the drink as possible. And that's all there is to it. The horse's neck. Enjoy. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.